they started doing a lot more stuff while you, you know, checking for dilation. I'm getting a swab done today, testing for group B. So I just don't really want to have my son there crying or whining or something while I am getting swabs done. So his Nana is watching him. That's kind of nice break. I have had the music blasted and singing this entire time so far. So this week has been actually quite eventful. Um, so I wasn't supposed to have my baby shower until two weeks after my son was born and that's usually how I prefer it um, because we did that with my first son because I like getting the visiting all out of the way like all at once. So everybody comes, everybody sees him and then no one really bothers me to come over to the house and that's kind of like how I liked it. I didn't really like people, like I didn't really want people being like, oh can I come over, can I come over? And I was just like, please stay away, you know, for like the first month or so. Um, so I kind of liked having it like that, but my mom and my auntie surprised me with the baby shower. Honestly, I had no idea that, um, you know, that they had planned the baby shower. At first, I was kind of like, I didn't want it before my son was born. Like, I was like, you know, but of course, I was grateful. They had, they completely surprised me. And, and they told me that I was coming over to my auntie's place because they wanted to do, like, foot soakers and just visit and stuff before the baby came and just, like, have, like, a girls' night out or whatever. So I was like, okay, sweet, I can, like, that sounds good to me. And I was like, they wouldn't, you know, plan the baby shower because I told them not to do it until two weeks afterwards. So I wasn't expecting it at all. I walk in there and there's all these people. They're like, surprise! And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so I walked into, like, this baby, sh this, like, full-blown baby shower and I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, they had games and a beautiful cake. I'll post some pictures at the end of the video. Um, prizes. I got lots of diapers and uh, wipes and stuff like that. And a couple of the things that I needed. Not a lot of stuff because I didn't, I don't really need like a lot of stuff. So I mostly got a bunch of diapers and wipes and like a baby bath and a couple outfits and just, you know, just a few things like that. Um, so it was nice. At first, though, I was a little upset because I was like, I said that I wanted it two weeks after. Um, but then my mom was like, don't worry, we're going to have like a meet and greet kind of thing afterwards. Um, so that, you know, you know, people can come and visit him then and then they won't have to come over to the house because they knew that's why I wanted it afterwards so I was like okay so then I wasn't as upset because I'm like as long as there's something afterwards then I will be fine so it was awesome I had a great time um you know I visited with my friends and my family and it was it was fun I had a good time definitely was surprised they got a video of me I'm like I was just like oh my god I was like so shocked um yeah also this week we got our um maternity pictures back from the professional photographer place that we went to and oh my god they turned out amazing i was so surprised um i honestly didn't think they were going to turn out that well but they did and um i was shocked like there was like so many people that were like know commenting and liking all the pictures and it was just it was crazy because I posted some of them on Facebook but um yeah I'll post those in the at the end of the video as well and yeah I loved almost all of them of course there was some I didn't like because you know you're there's always gonna be pictures you don't like of yourself but um I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video but I had a really really hard time um I think I did mention this in my last video. I had a really hard time feeling good about that photo shoot because this the pat like the week right before the photo shoot I started to get a little bit of pudge in my face. Like I'm retaining water now, so I'm a bit puffy. And so I was kinda like 
upset because my face is a bit pudgy. In some of the pictures you can tell that my face is kind of pudgy and you know like I'm a bit swollen and so I was kind of like darn I really wish that I had like done this um, a little bit sooner so that my face would have been like its normal shape because these like all of our family are wanting these pictures um, like because there were some family pictures in there with my son and everything and so there's family who are wanting these pictures and they're going to be like on their wall for a long time until we get new ones so I was kind of like a little butthurt about that because I was like I look a bit fat in these pictures but I mean I am 30 I was 35 weeks pregnant in the pictures so I just keep telling myself it's a good memory you know like everyone understands that I'm pregnant so it's all good but yeah oh I guess I should keep holding that anyways so yeah it's been a very eventful week I am really hoping that this baby comes out soon. I am like pretty much 100% prepared for him to come now. I just need to clean my room a bit more. It's kind of getting a bit messy because his nursery is in our room. So I, you know, I gotta make sure I keep it clean and stuff. But everything, I have everything I need. Um, all the hospital bags are packed, the car seat, I think you can see it behind me. Um, it's installed, like, I got everything ready, and I'm just waiting now, so, really hoping that he comes soon. So I got my 37 week appointment, I am, like, driving to it right now. I live half an hour out of, um, the city, so I'm on the highway. Um, yeah. Anyways, so my 37 week appointment, um, getting the group B swab, that's gonna be great. And then, um, hoping that he checks me for dilation, even though it doesn't really mean a whole lot, I kind of just, like, want to know. Because, uh, like, at 38 and a half weeks, I got checked with my son, and I was, like, one centimeter dilated, and, like, the next day I went into labor, so. I'm hoping he checks. That would be nice. It's, I'll just, if, I, if I'm, like, a one or something, I'll just kind of feel like, okay, it's, you know, happening and maybe it will take some of the edge off, I don't know. But I really am hoping that he comes soon because, well, the last like few weeks are the, are the longest, I think. Although I'm kind of getting nervous for this whole labor thing again and pushing and having a baby and I was really emotional last week about, you know, me and my son, like this was like the last few weeks of my son and I spending time together. Um, like just the two of us, it's always just been the two of us and now there's going to be another baby and I worry about if he's going to feel like I don't love him anymore and stuff like that, but I know it's going to be fine, I mean we, lots of people have more than one kid and we all turned out just fine, so I am not, trying not to stress about it too much, I know probably the first little while is going to be a bit difficult just because, well, it's a lot of change for everybody, but you know, Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up because I am coming into the city, um, ouch, baby kicks so much when I'm driving. Anyways, um, I'm coming into the city and so I probably should be paying attention while I'm driving. Um, and I will be back with another video shortly and thanks guys.